This is Ethereal Awakening. I'm doing individual zodiac sign reading for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Capricorn. Check your North Node. Um, today's date is December 19th, but time is fluid and really irrelevant when it comes to um, man-made time, as in the date, is irrelevant. Um, when it comes to tarot card readings, use your heart. If it resonates with you, there's a message there for you. If it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, then it's not for you. Spit it out. Move away. It's okay. All right, Cap, let's get going. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for Capricorn in the sign of... Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Capricorn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? I'm going to do it one more time. All right. Thank you in advance, Spirit. All right. Current energy. Four of Swords. Healing. Resting, reprieving, reflecting. Woo! Coming out of it strong with that Ace of Pentacles cap. Nice, nice. Heart space. Page of Cups. Offering yourself some love. Or Knight of Cups. I'm sorry. Not Page. Knight. That's a Knight. <laughs> Need a helmet? <laughs> I'm kind of trying to fight off something. Using my manifestations and my, my chat tea. So my head's a little foggy. I do apologize, Cap. That is a Knight of Cups. So you're offering yourself some love. I like that too. <laughs> love the one you're with. There's a page. Page of Pentacles. Wow. And they are eye to eye. Cap. Heart space is ringing. Offering yourself some love and some, some knowledge. Feeling like that love and knowledge is something worth giving yourself. Because, I mean, they are like eye to eye. They're like, yo, bro, what's up, bro? Hey, I know you. Yeah, I know you too. We're sitting here doing some good stuff. That's awesome. That is good balance. I mean, earth energy. I mean, budding earth energy. Like, I, I mean, the way that this Knight of Cups is looking at this page is like, I'm offering myself this cup. And this page is like, here you go, bro. That cup is what you needed. Possible outcome, five of pentacles. Oh. And the fool. So, right off the bat, I said, oh. But the possible outcome is looking at times when you were excluded and left out. Something that you were physically working on and then you were like, you know, spun around. What the hell just happened? How did I get here? Well, you've needed to heal from that. Your current energy is healing from some of that past crap that we find ourselves in. Sitting there and reflecting on it and, and, and gleaning from it a pinnacle. That pinnacle is now moving into your heart space. That's you. You're the pinnacle. You are the pinnacle, dear caps. And that's what my title is. You are the, pen you are the ace of pinnacles here. You're coming out of some healing that has left you feeling like, I am really great. I have every potential to be as great as I want to be. I can change my path. I can manifest what I want. And look, this is, look, you're emotionally looking dead at yourself. How are we going to get there, bro? Well, we got to see eye to eye. We got to recognize that anything that I'm emotionally lacking, I need to provide for myself. I cannot seek an external. This is boom, boom. Inward. Inward. In your heart space. Bra, this is beautiful. Beautiful cap. This is, and this is that fool looking at those past heartaches like there's only one place to go from here. I'm leaping off so I no longer have to find myself like this. This sucks. This sucks. Five, I mean... Five of, you know, five of pentacles sucks. That's a, I know that one. <laughs> I know, feeling left out, feeling excluded. But being alone is a lot better than being in positions where you're going to get left out. 
where you're surrounded by people who wouldn't show up for you if you were freaking on fire. But you've invested in. You're investing in something that does it with no dividends, no payoff. So you have to be the payoff. And that's exactly what your current energy is showing. You're healing through that bullshit. And you're coming out. You're the Ace of Pentacles. Underlying energy. Hold on. Hell yeah. Cap. Oh my gosh. Here you are. This is this is nice. So your underlying energy, which you might not be. This is this says to me, here you are. Capricorn. Dealing with things, addictions, codependency issues, you know, all of those things that catch us up. But recognizing that really it's all just internally. You're hanged man. I'm not moving. You got the hanged man. This is, I am not coming out of this four swords. I'm not budging. I'm not moving until, and it, it's going to take some strength. You, you, you have spirit here to provide you moments of strength when you feel like you have none. They are there. If he brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. Because there you are, holding on, holding on for dear life. You might need to let go of some things in your surroundings, some people, some, some possessions, some, you know, some things. You might need to let go of some things because that's the release that comes in that healing moment. I'm letting go of everything because really it's all God's anyway. Everything created in all of this manifested world is God's. So find that God in you. And that's what you're doing. You are finding the pentacle in you, which is God's gift. You're, you are the physical gift that you give yourself. And then you manifest in a way that I've seen what happened in the past, but I'm not going back there. I'll leap off from there. I'm looking at the past and saying, I don't want that. I want something different. So I think letting go of some, some ways of thinking, some addictions. Again, we can be addicted to more than drugs and alcohol. We can be addicted to anything. Anything that you're doing that you find... You might not even recognize it because often we're just getting some emotional, energetic... You, you know, ego stroke from it. But if you're late to work or you're missing appointments or, you know, well, honey, you were supposed to be here at 8 o'clock last night for dinner, but you didn't get here till 8.30. Like, well, I don't know, you know, like uh, uh, whatever that thing is that made you late and your friends and your family are starting to recognize it. Those are also addictions. Screen time, video gaming, gambling, sex, money, working. Anything you're doing that is taking away from not just the quality of your life, because you're not even recognizing, you don't recognize that it's taking away from the quality of your life because you're getting an emotional stroke from it. It's, it's making you feel good. It's giving you a burst of dopamine. So those around you are, those are your indicators. Those are the things like, oh, my wife, my kids, my coworkers are starting to say, what, what, what happened? Like, what do you do? Like. Like, you were supposed to be, you were, you, why weren't you, why, and another, another excuse, another, you know, those are also addictions. Those are codependent behaviors. It's another word for addiction is uh, you are, you have a codependent nature that you are requiring something external you to provide you with something to, to mask something else, to hide something. <clears throat> so you're going through the healing. And finding out that you're the pinnacle. So let go of some stuff. Sit in this. I mean this. Four of swords. Hanged man. Four of pinnacles. You're building something here. Cap. You're building on something. It's going to be beautiful. Whatever it is. This is. This is. After this healing. Recognizing that you're the pinnacle. This is the world opens up and is your oyster. This is where you see. The connectedness in everything. This is a, this is most definitely where's that hangman again? Spiritual awakening. Sag, you are going this this. If you will sit in this energy for a minute, 
until you until the light clicks get on the internet do some investigatory work we have all the knowledge in all the world right here at our fingertips with a google search or a youtube search you know we can learn everything that they teach us in schools and more and it's from each other so you can have whatever form you want that's what i'm here for you know, if one tarot reader is not your flavor, maybe the next one is. But you'll get the information if you want it. And this is you showing that you want it. This is beautiful energy, Shadge. I hope this has helped something. It's all I got. Peace.